We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that neighbourhood green space is tied to lower healthcare costs. Cast from beds unmade, weary bones and aching hearts cry out for some return. A thousand shades of green drowned by waves of stilted grey, high watermarks of progress against the tonal shifts of nature's loss. We catch glimpses in the chrome, avenues of shaded leaves, gardens hung from balconies, potted plants and roadside trees. Cures that we have always known from places that were once our home. This poem is inspired by recent research published in Environmental International, which has found that healthcare systems may spend hundreds of dollars less per person per year on medical care for those people living in neighbourhoods with more access to green spaces than those without. According to the World Health Organization, urban green spaces such as parks, playgrounds and residential greenery can promote mental and physical health and reduce morbidity and mortality by providing stress alleviation, supporting physical activity and reducing exposure to air pollutants, noise and excessive heat. In this new study, researchers used satellite data to determine the amount of green space within 250, 500 and 1000 metres of the home addresses of more than 5 million people who were members of the healthcare provider Casa Permanente Northern California for at least two years between 2003 and 2015. They then determined the individual care costs for each patient, considering age, gender, race, ethnicity, air quality and neighbourhood characteristics such as income, education level, housing density and population density. The research found that on average, people who live near greater amounts of green space were more likely to be older, male, white, and have higher income and education levels. However, even allowing for these different factors, the annual average healthcare cost was found to be $374 lower per person per year for those living near the most green space than it was for those living near the least green space. This research therefore raises the possibility that residential greening can have a significant health cost impact across the population. It also further highlights the need to ensure that green space is made available to all citizens, especially those from more deprived areas who typically have less access. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Cast from beds unmade. Weary bones and aching hearts cry out for some return. A thousand shades of green drowned by waves of stilted grey. High watermarks of progress against the tonal shifts of nature's loss. We catch glimpses in the chrome. Avenues of shaded leaves. Gardens hung from balconies, potted plants and roadside trees. Cures that we have always known from places that were once our home. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Green Pear Tree in September by Freya Manfred. Freya Manfred is an American poet living in Minnesota. Her poetry collections include A Golden Rod Will Grow, published in 1975, 
Flesh and Blood, published in 2000, and Loon in Late November Water, published in 2008. Manfred's work has also appeared in more than 100 reviews in magazines and over 40 anthologies, and her various awards include a Harvard Radcliffe Fellow in Poetry Award, a National Endowment for the Arts Award, a Minnesota Poetry Award, and a Tosa Foundation Award. Green Pear Tree in September, by Freya Manfred. On a hill overlooking the Rock River, my father's pear tree shimmers in perfect peace, covered with hundreds of ripe pears with pert tops, plump bottoms, and long curved leaves. Until the green halo tree rose up and sang hello, I had forgotten. He planted it twelve years ago, when he was seventy-three, so that in September he could stroll down with the sound of the crickets rising and falling around him, and stand naked to the waist, slightly bent, sucking juice from a ripe pear. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.